Hello, I'm Tom Fox. I'm Artistic Director of Lamp House Theatre and we've been doing a project called Hampton Folk Tales with a company called Eastern Angles Theatre Company. Uh, and what we've been doing is we've been working around Hampton, um, a very new area of Peterborough, about 20 years old. And we've been making folk tales for the area and the idea started with Peterborough having lots of history um, and we kind of wanted Hampton to be part of that. So we've been doing loads of things with loads of different artists coming in. We've created a, a song for Hampton um, with uh, all the schools in Hampton coming together and they'll perform that with a 50 strong orchestra and choir. We've done storytelling um, in and out of schools with young people. Um, they've designed Mavis the Giant who lives under the Tump, which is a hill in uh, Hampton. And all of this stuff, we've collated all of these ideas uh, and, and made them into folk tales. Uh, and we're going to have that in a, a, in a booklet. So it's part of a, a Peaceborough Presents commission. And there was a few commissions around the city um, to engage different communities. And, and that's definitely what the project is, is doing. Um, and what we really wanted to do is give people a sense of belonging. And I think storytelling is a huge uh, tool for that. Kind of walking around your own uh, hometown uh, and going, oh yeah, there might be a giant under that hill, or there might be a serpent in that. Or I remember a rumour about that, or there's a myth there. For example, someone said that they used to, um, the staff at Tesco's used to be on roller skates. And there's been a folk tale that's come out of that. All the way to, um, people coming to a summer school with us, um, working with young people at the moment, and they've written their own folk tales, they've made their own performances, uh, which they're going to present at the festival. So there's, there's been kind of stages where people can contribute and engage in different ways. So on the actual festival day, uh, it will start with Mavis our giants walking around Hampton. It's a bit of a Pied Piper. Hopefully people will see her walking through the streets and come and join. And then she's going to be at the Tump, which is a big hill uh, in the middle of Hampton at 2pm, so Tump at 2, uh, where she will meet everyone and she will shake hands and high five and you might even hear her story. And then she's going to lead a procession um, through Hampton all the way to Silver Hill Green, which is just out here out of the Serpent uh, where a big festival will happen, Hampton Festival, with loads of things going on, music, um, fates, uh, games, food. But the Undercraft, which is a theatre just in Serpentine Green, where we are now, there's going to be performances. So the culmination of all of these ideas and stories that we've got are going to be performed. Um, so you'll hear lots of folk tales, you'll hear lots of music, and they're all performed by young people who are based in Hampton and uh, in the Greater Peterborough area. Yeah, Hampton, Hampton's a really interesting place because it's it's lovely, it's quiet, there's lots of greenery and lakes, it's a beautiful place to live. But every time I kind of walk, I walk through it, there's not, not a lot of people around it. Um, because I think a lot of people who live in Hampton work elsewhere. Uh, they commute to London or Cambridge or even inside into Peterborough. Uh, so so our, our mission that we gave ourselves really was, was to bring people together and I think in a place like Hampton I think that's, that's very important when people are so tired because they work so hard they go off and they come back and all they want to do is, is sleep. <laughs> so giving people that time to be creative and to look around their own hometown and go, oh, okay yeah yeah I can, I can do things here as well as elsewhere.